And we're going to bring in Greg Halcott now. He joins us live from Hong Kong. And Greg, I'm not sure if you were able to hear a Secretary of State's uh, audio, but he hinted that a third summit with North Korea uh, leader, dictator Kim Jong-un is very, very possible. Certainly a possibility, Arthel. I'm hearing from my sources, too, whether they have done enough work to immediately have some sort of meeting in, in the coming days. That's a big question. But, yeah, just one of many developments that are being watched very closely here in the region. This uh, G20 meeting in Osaka, Japan, Friday, Saturday on the sidelines, the meeting with Chinese President Xi and President Trump. A lot at stake right now. For example, we heard from the 10 Asian countries that make up the ASEAN grouping today. They were meeting in Bangkok this weekend regarding the trade talks between China and the United States. They called on the two countries to come up with a resolution. It has now become really a full-blown trade war. President Trump, Chinese President Xi have been trading tariffs over the past 18 months or so on imports from both countries. There are talks to come up with some kind of a deal on, on, on a range of issues like high tech and subsidies. They've been going on for months. They broke down last month. More tariffs are being threatened. For its part, we heard from Chinese state media today, Arthel. They said they have the strength and the patience to fight the United States to the end here in Hong Kong, which is a special region of China and a real go between between trade between the two countries. Uh, they're looking very closely. One analyst here said perhaps, just perhaps, China might blink. Take a listen. If Xi Jinping makes concession to uh, Donald Trump on trade, is because in China there are um, increasing problems as, uh, related to um, the slowdown of the economy, the fact that the sanctions, the U.S. sanctions against China start to bite the Chinese economy. Now, it is also thought that the anti-Beijing pro-democracy protest that we have been watching here in Hong Kong going on for the past two weeks might also come up in these talks between Chinese President Xi and President Trump, might even be used by President Trump as a, as a bargaining trip and chip in his negotiations. But yes, getting back to uh, North Korea, certainly that will be discussed as well. Remember, Chinese President Xi just visited Pyongyang, just spent time with Kim Jong-un, allegedly got some kind of a commitment, a concession from the North Korean leader that uh, Chinese President Xi is said to be bringing to these talks. Again, that might interrelate with a lot of other uh, issues here and as, as we watch this go forward. Uh, remember, one last thing uh, uh, we should remind our viewers of Arthel is that President Trump, after he finished with, with, with Chinese President Xi, after the G20, he goes on to Seoul and meets with the South Korean President Moon and uh, perhaps at, at the very least maybe a postponed uh, uh, trip to the DMZ to take a closer look at yet another possible foe in this region.